Husband says to his wife that he is going golfing. She gets upset because she thought they would spend the day together. Husband says, Honey, just give me the day I need to relieve some stress. Besides, you don't even golf. Wife answers, I want to learn, and besides, it's something we can do together. The husband begrudgingly accepts his wife's request. They go to the gold course. On the first tee, the husband drives it 300 yards, dead center. The wife tries it and slices it right into a huge window of a huge house on the side of the course. Husband says, ah, shit. Okay, let's go pay for this window. The couple arrives at the front door of the broken window house and rings the doorbell. A very well-dressed man answers the door. Yes? Husband says, hi, we're the ones that broke the window. Are you the owner of the house? Well-dressed man, oh no, I am only the butler. Master is on the other room, follow me. The couple follows the butler through the massive entry and into a wondrous library, in the center of which sits the master, staying intently at a vase that was broken, quite clearly by the golf ball. Husband says, oh, I am so sorry, my wife, you see, is learning golf. She didn't mean to. The master interrupts in an understanding tone. Ha ha! Oh, it's all right. You see, I'm a genie, and I was trapped in that case for the last several hundred years. But you released me by breaking it. As you know, genies grant three wishes. But since you did break the window, I will save the third for myself. Leave one each for you both. Madame, would you like to go first? Wife. Uh, I want lots of money. Done, interrupts the master. I'll also make it theft-proof, fire-proof, and infinite. Anytime you need money, no matter the amount, it will be in your account. Wife says, oh my goodness, thank you so much. Your turn, says the master, looking at the husband. Husband, I'd like a beautiful home in ever country. Master, and you shall have it, complete with protection from all the elements and a staff to maintain it and look after you when you stay. Husband says, Jesus, thank you so much. Master, not a problem. As for my wish, well, I have been trapped in that case for so long, and all the while without a woman. I am sorry, but my wish is to have sex with your beautiful wife. Husband says to wife, I don't know, honey. I mean, he did give us all that money and houses. You know how I feel about cheating, but this seems different. Wife says, yeah, I agree. I'm not thrilled about it, but I get where he is coming from. Play well, do it. The master is thrilled and whisks the wife upstairs where they have loud, wall-banging sex for hours on end. Finally, after all that time, the master comes down in only his underwear and his unbuttoned dress shirt. He grabs a cup of water and drinks the whole thing. The master then asks the nearby husband, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you and your wife? Husband says, well, I'm 32 and she is 34. Why do you ask? Master answers, just curious as to how you guys still believe in genies. <laughs> a wealthy but stingy father was trying to put a birthday party together for his, for my 18 year old daughter. He wanted the party to be extravagant, but wanted to spend as little money as possible. He had finished all of the other decorations and he was left to work on the cake. Why not get it ordered from an upscale bakery, his wife said. So the father visited a ton of different bakeries and did research, but found the prices to be too high. My daughter is inviting all of her friends, and I'll look bad if I don't put together a good cake, he thought. Then he stumbled upon a shop that opened once a year to provide free cake to its customers. How quaint, the father thought, but desperate, he walked inside to see if they could provide a cake for his daughter's birthday. He was met by a Buddhist monk, chanting and lighting incense. Hello, the father asked. I would like to buy a cake. Of course, the monk replied. Just draw a picture of the cake you would like on the notepad on the desk. The father thought this to be weird, but wanting to save as much money as possible, he gave him the address and told him to come in the back door, just in case the cake was bad. The day of the party arrived, and the monk visited the house with the most extravagant cake the family had ever seen. All of the guests were in awe and whispered to each other about how much the cake could have cost. The monk, 
became the guest of honor, and at the end of the party, the father approached the monk and asked, Why do you do this for free? You should take money for your services. The monk smiled and said, I do this for free because a cake day is the best way to earn karma. <laughs> a little girl says to her mother, Mummy, when you were away at work, a strange lady came around. Not now, says Mummy. Wait until Daddy gets home. So they wait until Daddy gets home, and then Mummy says, Now dear, what were you saying about Daddy and the strange lady? And Daddy starts to say something, but Mummy says, You keep quiet. I'll be talking to my attorney in the morning. Carry on, dear. The little girl says, Daddy told me to stay downstairs while they went upstairs, but I followed them and I saw them hugging and kissing at the top of the stairs. Then they went into your bedroom and shut the door, but I went up and looked through the keyhole. Mummy said, what could you see through the keyhole? I saw them hugging and kissing, and then they started to take each other's clothes off, and then the lady got on the bed, and Daddy got on top of her. Yes, says Mummy. And then what happened? The little girl answered, then they did what you and Uncle Jack did when Daddy was in Vancouver last year. <laughs> a guy sits at a bar in a skyscraper restaurant high above the city. He slams a shot of tequila, goes over to the window, and jumps out. The guy sitting next to him can't believe what he just saw. He's more surprised when, ten minutes later, the same guy walks back into the bar and sits down next to him. The astonished onlooker asks, How did you do that? I just saw you jump out the window, and we're hundreds of feet above the ground. The jumper responds by slurring, Well, I don't get it either. I slam a shot of tequila, and when I jump out the window, the tequila makes me slow down right before I hit the ground. Watch. He takes a shot, goes to the window, and jumps out. The other guy runs to the window and watches as the guy falls to just above the sidewalk, slows down, and lands softly on his feet. A few minutes later, the jumper walks back into the bar. The other guy has to try it too, so he orders a shot of tequila. He slams it and jumps out the window. As he reaches the bottom, he doesn't slow down at all. Splat! The first guy orders another shot of tequila. The bartender shakes his head. You're really an asshole when you're drunk, Superman. <laughs> My friends, if you want to watch other funny jokes, subscribe to the channel.